Hey everyone, Dr. Frunky here with a review and final diagnosis on the Booze Blade Smoke TS1. This knife is very popular right now mainly because it is a very accessible and very well done front flipper knife. Now a front flipper, as you just saw, is a knife that deploys via a front facing flipper that is not your regular index flipper like uh, you might see on this zero tolerance knife. So most flipper knives, if you just call something a flipper knife, is going to be opened like that where you put your index finger on there and you deploy the knife as such. However, uh, this is sort of a new fad and I made a video a while back with some interesting responses about the front flipper knife. Is it fun or is it frustrating? Well, uh, the Booze Blade Smoke is attempting and successfully uh, implementing a very fun and functional front flipper mechanism on this knife. And uh, I just wanted to talk about it. And now that I've gotten to experience it for a little while, uh, I can give you a little bit of insight. So let's go ahead and take a look at this knife objectively. Up front is a three and a half inch cutting length, about a 3.6 inch blade overall, back to the pivot four inches, exactly eight inches overall, four and a half inch handle with a 4.25 inch grip area. So a very nice size knife. Uh, this definitely would benefit from being slightly smaller. It's a 0.44 inch uh, thickness right there, so a nice thinness to that. Uh, back at the base of the stock right there, you're looking at 157 thousandths on the blade stock. So it's narrow both in the uh, width right here and the height. This is an interesting uh, measurement on this particular knife. You're looking at, uh, let's see here, that comes out at 0.7 inches right there. So it is way, way under the usual inch in height, and so that's pretty nice. The slimness of this knife in the pocket is just unbelievable. People talk about knives disappearing in the pocket. Well, this absolutely does. Uh, why don't I just bring out a Bic pen and I'll show you that the the diameter of this is not all that different uh, in a lot of ways. So it's so slim that it's actually that easy to carry. It almost disappears, especially if you just tuck it in the back of your pocket. Um, we'll get to the handle and all that in a minute. Let's break this thing down anatomically. Up front is a blade of S35VN done in the most functional and wonderful full flat grind. I have absolutely enjoyed using this blade over and over again. It works perfectly for opening letters, for cutting paper, and generally lighter duty tasks. It tapers off to a rather thin tip and so you're not going to want to be using this for heavier duty things. It will slice through cardboard quite well, but it's not a knife that I choose to do that with simply because of how thin it is, but it will do it. And the S35VN will hold an edge very nicely and is very readily resharpenable. The thing that I love about the blade the absolute most is the way that the ways that you can deploy it. So this front flipper uh, really allows for a bunch of different and fun things to do with this knife. Uh, so you can open the knife traditionally with your thumb. You can reach around the top of the knife and with your index finger deploy the knife like that. If you're really adept, you can sneak your uh, middle finger behind it and flip the knife open just like that. You can open it very easily with the thumb and then just kind of carry it through with the index finger. Uh, if you're really good, which I'm not, uh, sometimes, yeah, you can reach around there with the index finger and make it uh, open that way. So a lot of different ways and of course there are plenty of other options as well. So very, very much fun that uh, this is so easily openable in a lot of different ways. Uh, so let's just go ahead and address the front flipper issue. Um, it's fun that uh, you can open it in a bunch of different ways, but I'm gonna be real with you. I would not choose to have the front flipper for any other reason than for pure like EDC enjoyment uh, and, and not in a functional sense. I will say this may be one of the least practical methods of deployment for a knife because it requires some of the most intricate hand acrobatics and finger acrobatics to deploy. Uh, if you watch my front flipper video, I discuss that uh, some are good and some are bad. Uh, and all of them require a certain type of uh, moment where you have some instability in your hand. And so I wouldn't want to have this in an emergency situation. So since I have this knife out here, I'll bring out a couple of knives for a size comparison. There's the Kaiser Feist, a smaller front flipper knife. Here's the uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2. So you can see that the, uh, the profile is very nice. It's smaller than the PM2. 
it's going to probably be about the same size as this Mannix, and it is about the same size. So it's a big but thin knife, and that's pretty awesome. So I like that a lot. Moving back to the pivot, uh, it runs on ceramic bearings. If you watch the surgery video, you'll see that it's quite simple to open and maintain. This has some of the smoothest action of any production knife. This is better than any Wii knife that I've ever held before. And uh, that's this knife was made by Wii, so it's impressive to see them improving their own quality. Uh, and everything like that. The pivot has this uh, triangular screw on the front, really this triangular base to the pivot itself, uh, and it makes it not spin freely, and that's really awesome. Uh, it makes it very easy to put back together, very easy to tune it right to where you want it, and then Loctite the pivot exactly where it needs to be. This one is in the exact right spot, uh, and it is perfectly centered, and uh, it does beautifully deploy with all of those mechanisms and then it just drops close under its own weight which is super impressive for such a thinly bladed knife. Moving back to the handles, we've got these beautifully milled pieces of titanium. These handles have been extremely comfortable in use uh, in everyday carry. The chamfering makes the grip very nice. It's long enough that even my extra large size 8 sterile glove hand wraps around this knife quite well. My pinky actually sits right on that lanyard hole and actually provides it with a little bit of extra grip. That's interesting and my index finger grabs that speed hole right there. The clip is a nice piece of milled titanium with a nice amount of spring. Wee Knives does a very good job with their milled clips. I have yet to be disappointed by one. This one functions beautifully. It rides relatively deep in the pocket but leaves you just enough to really grab it and pull it out. So extremely functional there. I have really enjoyed carrying this knife over the last couple of weeks. William Booz has been very nice and talked to me about it and kind of asked me my opinion along the way and I've talked to him about a couple of things that I might like to see. Uh, as much as I love bigger knives, I think that this would be beautiful in a slightly smaller package. And as, his, his, as is his trend right now, he's making smaller versions of different knives. He just released the uh, prototype for the Booze Blades Arrow uh, Mini. Uh, so you can see that. Nick Shabazz actually has one of the prototypes. Uh, Mr. Booz and I might be uh, working together to get some of the prototypes on the channel here as well. So that would be really awesome. I have uh, definitely been a positive uh, factor right there. Looking forward to that association. Uh, and then I asked him, you know, in, in the spirit of Frunky, I always like to push makers. Whenever I'm getting a custom knife, I always like to ask questions and see what's possible. I mentioned to Will that this knife might be absolutely incredible as an integral because the form and everything just seems perfect for it. And I don't know if there's a front flipper integral out there right now, and I think that that could be really groundbreaking. So uh, keep your ear to the ground. Something may be coming of that discussion that we had. So what is my final diagnosis on this knife? Well, my final diagnosis is Frunky's favorite front flipper. Try to say that 10 times fast. This is my favorite model of the front flipper that I've experienced. I've handled four or five of them right now, uh, and each one has their perks. If you go back and see my video, you'll uh, learn a little bit more. I will say the Gareth Bull Shamwari is on another level of amazingness, but the sort of price and the rarity and the custom nature of this make this a little bit less attainable, and so I don't really like entering that into these kinds of decisions. But for the general public that can uh, easily access this knife uh, at $200 or less on the secondary market. Uh, this is definitely the best front flipper on the market right now. I absolutely love it. Honestly, I came into this knife thinking that I was going to hate it, but it absolutely changed my mind. I found myself picking this knife over pretty much everything in my collection for the fun factor, the front flipper, the sharpness and functionality of the blade, the very slim profile, and the very low weight. Uh, I don't think I waited for you guys right here. But uh, this thing carries like a dream at 2.83 ounces. This is a, an everyday carry guy's like dream. It hits all the high points. Good steel, good construction, good uh, engineering, uh, a lot of fun to deploy, and very, very, very smooth. Uh, it just all the boxes are ticked on this one for me. Uh, and just a job well done. Will, just a job well done. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you come up with next. I'm excited to see your new knives as you announce them. 
uh, and tell me what you guys think of the Booze Blade Smoke. Uh, my final diagnosis is there. So uh, go ahead and click like and subscribe to my channel here. Check me out on Instagram at Dr. Frunky. Check out at Booze Blades and at Miss Blue Booze Blades on Instagram as well for new information about Booze Blades' uh, upcoming knives. And as always, guys, this is Dr. Frunky saying take care.